the, the goal is to look at Australian innovation first. We tend to always look overseas, think it's better. But there's actually great stuff here. The government is committed to actually look at those innovations first before they go overseas to look for what's going on there. We're at the Everything IoT Smart City Summit uh, and we're having an amazing conversation around the role of the Internet of Things into making our cities better places to live. Um, and very broad range of people here today. Uh, we've got uh, startups, we've got government, uh, we have innovators, uh, and we also have quite a few um, solution providers. The main benefit of connected cities is actually enabling people to take more control over the things that are most important to them. Um, and so we've seen that with connectivity, for example, people can make choices about the way in which they travel. So we're now not talking about transport, we're talking about mobility. Um, someone can, you know, dial up an, an Uber vehicle or they can look at a shared uh, car option. Um, so that's really what we mean by connected cities, is just providing better services um, for the things that people want the most. So, so to me, a connected city is where those ambient data collection points are happening around us without it being overly intrusive into our lives. But the benefits of what the data and the understanding of that data brings us yeah, is very tangible. Uh, if you think machinery or you think buildings, building management systems, traffic management systems. So th there's an awful lot there that, if you like, has some of the IoT uh, capability built within it. What hasn't happened is to spread that across the city. So to create an infrastructure that's open uh, and that begins to talk uh, between those things and between those different types of things. So when we talk smart cities in this context, I think it's about data mining some of what's already there. I think it's about connecting things that aren't currently connected. And it's also, if you like, about saturating. It's about saturating the landscape and then being able to uh, put the data analytics over that to make, make sense of it. Today's IoT event for cities is, is so important because we need uh, to be building companies um, that solve problems using these technologies. Now that happens through an ecosystem and today's event is to help us to build that ecosystem uh, by bringing all these people together. And so, Someone like Aiton has to put that together and that's what he's done here. So events like this are really important for myself as a startup. Know, engaging with the ecosystem within all the various parts of the, the solution from government through to the hardware vendors through to, to other uh, software vendors and needing to sort of make all of those connections. These events bring a lot of those people together. As a city, we cannot afford to miss this wave. We don't want to lose the jobs, the economic development, but most importantly, we don't want to lose the livability in our cities that will come about because of this revolution. And it is a revolution. I thank you for all that you do, and more importantly, I thank you for all that I know you will do to make changes in our cities. And last but not least, uh, I want to mention a very famous saying that uh, the best way to predict the future is to invent it. <laughs> so I encourage you to go on and invent the future. Thank you very much.